Hi there, it's real estate coach Josh Fegan and today we've got Cecile Weldon with us with the uh, Centre for Livability Real Estate. But we're going to talk specifically about everything livability and what's happening in the real estate space. Fantastic. Talk just a little bit about that and how that works. Okay, so the Centre for Livability Real Estate was set up yeah. um, to really bring out to the marketplace, to all of the agents, this new training. Yeah. So that you can become a livability real estate specialist. Right, you okay. really upgrade. You're an existing salesperson and yeah. property manager yeah. and you upgrade to become a specialist. Okay. And so what does that look like and what does it mean? Like the livability component for a lot of agents, is that just architectural design or is that actually going into more um, the environment and ecological sustainability and building practice? Okay, it's really interesting area yeah. and it's an area that agents haven't really been addressing and yeah. certainly as an industry yeah. we haven't been addressing really well to yeah. be able to because it's actually representing a new value proposition yeah. so basically there are 17 features that are currently being missed okay. in a property appraisal okay. and these are livability features and what we mean by livability features is features that give the potential for reduced running cost and increased comfort yeah sure so talk to us about what some of those things might actually be and what an agent would look for in a property. Okay, so they cover location, floor yeah. plan and layout, yeah. key building structure elements, important energy and water savings um, features and also an energy rating. One of the most, um, I suppose, obvious ones would be solar PV, solar panels. Yeah. So a lot of agents aren't really leveraging that because they don't understand what makes a good one, a bad one, how to sell it, what to look for. Yeah. So what this does is it gives agents not only exceptional training mm -hmm. in how to identify it, why it's important and how to leverage it at yeah. that opportunity, yeah. but it also gives them the benchmarks yeah. so that they're not having to decide is it good or is it bad, they're already there on this special appraisal checklist that they get access to. Okay, so um, as, a, as a, a vendor <coughs> looking to sell your property, obviously yeah. um, if you're into those particular things and, and as that becomes more a part of the building practices going forward, um, it's, it's hard, you know, I guess that for an agent to not understand it and that they need to have an understanding of it to be able to show their capabilities and be able to sell it on to a future buyer. Um, what are some of the things that um, an agent um, needs to do and how does this accreditation program actually work? Well, if you imagine a vendor's invested quite considerably in these things. Yeah. For instance, um, worst rated windows, energy efficient windows, you can't tell the difference between that and a normal window. Yeah. So the agent's got no way of understanding what that is. Yeah. But that person might have invested $100,000 $100, in those windows. Yeah. That's $100,000 worth of extra value you could yeah. get from that house if yeah. you knew how to sell that feature. Right? Yeah. So, these are just sitting there, opportunities. And what we know from the latest research is that 89% of consumers said they would find a home more attractive to buy yeah. or rent if these features were identified. So if you're a vendor, an agent's coming in, they're doing the normal thing. If you're an agent that comes in and says, hey, let's do a livability appraisal because yeah. I'm trained, I'm a livability specialist, a nationally recognised specialist program, and I'm able to identify an additional 17. Yeah. And even one of those features gives you the opportunity to get that higher, higher price in the shortest time frame. Well, if you've got 17, yeah. okay, and most of the houses, this is for existing houses, even the older houses like your place, I'd love to do a livability appraisal on your place, Josh, yeah. um, because it's the, a lot of the older houses were built with this knowledge in mind. Yeah. You know, north facing living rooms, yeah. cross ventilation, yeah. all of these things. Yeah. So what this provides agents with is an incredible opportunity to stand out, first of all, from everyone else pitching for the work, yeah. but also not have to negotiate on that fee. Yeah, so it actually becomes an area of specialty, doesn't it? Because yeah. that is how you actually stand out as an agent. It's one it's of your accreditation of components. Um, talk to us a little bit about accreditation because um, you know it's an area that um, many agents don't come from an architectural background or yeah. not necessarily don't come from that sort of a background. They're just used to saying, well, it's a house, do you like yeah, it? Yeah, you know? that's right. So um, what does that look like to get to the point of accreditation? Well, interestingly, way back, and some people may remember, yeah. you used to do basic construction and all sorts of things when you did yeah. your training as a yeah. real estate agent. Now it's just a few days yeah. and you gloss over everything. Yeah. What this does is it brings back that basic sort of construction knowledge yeah. enough so that you're able to identify these features. So even though it would have been, I mean, it took four years to develop this, yeah. this whole course because we had to make it super simple yeah. for an agent yeah. because it needed to do a half an hour appraisal. Yeah. So what you get is this knowledge of passive, something called passive design, yeah. which is how orientation, shading, all these sorts of things help to just deliver free. Yeah heat and cooling, do you yeah. know, as well as all the other things that are coming. And, and because it's continuous improvement, the agent gets updated every year when 
battery storage starts to become an Australian standard and everyone's got cool Tesla power walls in their, in their house, the agent's absolutely immediately updated yeah. and can go out there and understand the scripts and dialogues that are really going to bring that deal home. Mm -hmm. And so um, it, we, as an agent, um, what do you do? Do you go to a course for a yeah, few days? Yeah, that's it. Tell it's a full day that. course mm -hmm. um, from 8.30 to 4.30. Yeah. And then you do a four week probation period, okay. which is just really, it's all immersive. Okay. It's a little bit like language learning. I want to appraise, appraise, appraise. It's all about that appraisal. Yeah. So you do little online reviews. Mm -hmm. They're about five minutes each. Yeah. And then you have two case studies. Okay. And one of those is your own home. Mm -hmm. Get to appraise your own home. And then you do a virtual appraisal and then you're good to go. Yeah. You get a special lapel pin, a membership card, yeah. access to a membership portal, all yeah. of the resources and that appraisal checklist, which is gold. Yeah. And so then once you've got that, then you you can use that in your marketing Absolutely. going further. Yeah. You just integrate it in. So the whole reason it took so long is it's integrated into all the property marketing touch points. Okay. So you just go you do your normal pitch yeah. and then you just slide that baby in. Yeah. And a lot of our uh, real estate specialists have said, you know, when it comes, some of them leave it till the last minute as their trump card, yeah. some of it lead with it, yeah. you know, and it really makes a point of difference to vendors. Because if you can imagine being in their shoes, and some agents may have already done this to their own house, so they yeah. should think of themselves like a customer. Yeah. If you can imagine, I've invested maybe $200,000 in these features and this agent doesn't even know about them, yeah. not even asking me about them. Yeah. All they're focusing on is the granite bench tops and the European appliances and the butler's pantry, yeah. and that's old news. Yeah. If 89% of consumers would find it more attractive, wow, that's 9 out of 10 people coming to your open homes. Yeah. And agents have said to me, well, how come um, they're not asking me questions about that? Yeah. And this is the other piece of research which is really interesting. Consumers said, um, would, they said, would you trust an agent to yeah. give you this information? Yeah. And they said, well, actually, no, yeah. because they don't know this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, if they did specialist training, and they said, yeah, I would trust them more. Yeah. So is that um, just for New South Wales or across Australia? Oh, it's a national program. National program. And it's yep. also for property managers and sales. Okay. And so from a property manager's perspective, that helps uh, in, the work, in working with the potential landlords and existing landlords? Both, because you've got a really compelling conversation for both sides of that equation. Yeah. Because um, renters are going into um, a lease without knowing whether they're going to get a big power bill. Yeah. Right? And so then often they're trapped in that property and they can't make that. And in that instance, what are they going to stop paying, they're going to stop paying the rent, right? Yeah, yeah. So what this does is brings transparently forward those properties that have those running cost potentials yeah. right front and centre, so they're more aware of what their commitment is in terms of that property, but conversely it enables um, Property managers aren't often investment managers. Yeah. They're not often able to have a really intelligent conversation, or they don't often do it, yeah. about actually how you can capitalise this property. Yeah. So this gives a, pro uh, a landlord absolutely clear, a checklist, the same appraisal thing as the renovator's guide. Yeah. Okay? So they can build up that over time, and then two or so years, their property can have more and more, because those properties that have these features are going to be worth more to rent. Yeah. So obviously with a program like this, there might be some uh, negativity surrounding it um, from clients' perspectives even, that maybe their property won't rate so well um, on some of those standards and, and how does that actually relate? So what are some of the things that um, you know, agents need to be aware of if there are some negatives around the reports that come back? Okay, well remember this has been designed from within the property marketing industry, so there's no negative. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything's yeah. an opportunity. So. Um, the way it's been worked out, it's not a rating. Yeah. It's just a list of features. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you get six features, you get a, 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 an icon on your property listing. Yeah. If you get one to five, you get these amazing sort of open home cards. Yeah. And we did all sorts of testing and what consumers wanted was cards, yeah. you know, old fashioned cards. And so even one of those yeah. is a big benefit because that's the running cost potential, right? So what it provides is immediately it's a feature, it's an additional feature. There's no, you have to get 17 at all in the market, in, in the whole concept of it, because yeah. it's one by one. Yeah. But what we've shown is that people coming to that open home go, oh my God, this is amazing. Yeah. There might be one, two, three or four, can I have a look at this checklist? Oh, we can just keep adding to this. Yeah. Because the thing is, this has been a really complex area. People want to do it and they don't know where to start. Yeah. So your appraisal checklist becomes everyone's renovation. Yeah. guideline, yeah, right? Yeah. So that's a beautiful transition to capitalising your property over time. So none of our agents have reported any negative. That's what took so long to develop, yeah. was how to get that sweet spot 
and enable you to keep moving with that opportunity conversation. Mm. Tell us more about um, the CSIRO's involvement and yes, sure. you know, how they've been a part of the program. So this was um, created collaboratively over a four year period yeah. with um, builders, designers, the assessment industry, um, and we won the Banksier Award, um, which is Australia's highest award for education. And it was getting quite a lot of cut through. We participated in a lot of research projects um, and one of those the CSIRO was a part of. And it became very apparent when they started to get to understand what livability was, that this was a whole area that they really wanted to understand more. And so when the research came back that consumer demand was wanting this, and that agents that had done this specialisation were you know, more trusted in the marketplace, it became clear to them that it was really important for them to acquire this so that it could become open to the whole industry and not one brand get competitive advantage. So the CSIRO's commitment to the real estate industry in this regard is really, really important and significant because it means every agent that's going out with this, which has all been created to be simple and effective in those real estate moments, has the backing and support of CSIRO. So livability real estate specialists are also going to get access to amazing pieces of property um, research and, and that they haven't had access before. So they're probably going to be the, I mean CSIRO says they're going to be the be most well-informed agents in the marketplace because this is the future. So what you're talking about is the future of real estate and we finally are absolutely at the cutting edge of that. We're not on the back foot trying to catch up like we are with a lot of disruptive technologies. We're actually meaningfully disturbing our own industry with knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, and the value that we have is our face-to-face -face relationship. Mm -hmm. And this can only be done through a face-to-face -face relationship. So where do you see the, um, the industry going, right? Because yeah. certainly when we were uh, building new properties over the last few years, we've been very conscious about um, energy rating buildings, yeah. um, particularly on newer buildings. Yeah. Um, are, are we going to get to a point that you expect that that'll be something that will become a standard across all buildings when they go to market? These are the discussions that are being had. Yeah. Um, the existing home is, you know, there's 9.7 million homes. Yeah. You know, 98% of them are existing homes. Yeah. So that has been over time, you know, taking care of, Though a lot of agents don't even know that there's been rising compliance standards for energy in Australia, you yeah. know, since 2006. But I think what's exciting about livability and why the CSIRO is behind it yeah. and why it's supporting a face-to-face -face relationship, which is pretty amazing, yeah. um, is because it's features-based. Yeah. And a rating is sometimes hard to sell mm -hmm. as an agent mm -hmm. because how do we talk? Features, three yeah. bedrooms, two bathrooms and a car park. Yeah, sure. Right? So yeah. this gives it to us in a way that we can leverage and we can sell. Mm -hmm. It's been designed for us, for our industry. Yeah. So that when those ratings come in, whatever that is, and there's already, you know, we've got a place for that. That's number 17 out of the 17 things. Yeah. So you're perfectly positioned. I think government, everyone's looking for what they call energy productivity, mm -hmm. which is to be able to help people save on their power bills. It's part of a huge narrative. Mm -hmm. And now there's an opportunity for real estate agents to actually pay an active part in that yeah. to drive their own business. And will we see that um, further develop with the portals as well about their yeah. support around um, you know, how that positions property and yeah, and absolutely. Sort of things? So we, the CRMs, we're already working with the CRMs yeah. um, in terms of integration and discussions with the portals yeah. um, because this is, uh, it covers all the touch points of property marketing. It's just integrating that in yeah. because currently it's hard to know what's an echo, sometimes they're wrongly placed as echo features, yeah. whereas these are livability features and they're benchmarked. Yeah. So you know what matters. A lot of people think solar panels and rainwater tanks, yeah. but actually insulation and shading yeah. give you the biggest bang for your buck. Yeah. So you're picking up on property features that have been just lying dormant yeah. that you could really pull forward. How exciting is that? Yeah. And agents that have done this have reported that they're not having to negotiate their fees so much, yeah. you know, because they're showing that e extra property knowledge. Yeah. And a, a true de a demonstration and understanding 
understanding of where the market's going to when you think about you know the new Tesla battery that obviously they're building for South Australia a conversation yeah. around now we're going to power a whole state with a backup on, on that scenario um, changes to in, in building codes and also to I think like the quality of, of property certainly in renovations and construction now to start to say look it's a completely different feel it's not just a home but it's also to how efficient is that home I think that we, we certainly saw that over the last few years with motor cars with yeah. you know the, the liters per 100 kilometers yeah. also too with appliances like fridges and washing machines and all those types of things and now we're going to start to see that emerging trend in property as well if someone wanted to find out more information about uh, the program about the research and also too about how they could become accredited where yeah. would they go livability.com.au so that's l-i-v-e ability.com.au yeah and you have sessions running uh, yeah we have uh, sessions running um, in New South Wales beginning in September the 26th yeah. I really encourage everyone to get on and we have some really great whole brand packages okay. so if you want to do a whole skills uplift with yeah. your team which is becomes very powerful then yeah. um, you really start to hold your place in the marketplace and that's available too excellent we'll put the web address online thank you great